look, it was the it was the it was the Washington defense that didn't show up. Give credit for the uh, to huh? the front four of Michigan. Michigan. I mean, Pen- Penix well, was, couldn't do anything yeah, all night. He had no time. Yeah. They couldn't the creative play that Tom talked I'm about saying. last week we that the, the board did. They didn't went, have time to do that. When we went into this, we sat right here last week. Defense wins championship, and we knew Washington had no defense. So we knew that Michigan's defense was going to stop Washington. That's simple. That was as easy as a pick as anybody would have ever wanted to have in college football. It was a close game in the second half. It was close. They end up winning by how much? Well, they end up winning by a bunch. They gave up two touchdowns in the fourth quarter, but that first drive, Michigan just ran it down her throat. I mean, just you know, I mean, got to stop the run, man. If you can't stop the run, you're in trouble. Zach, if um, you it, Let's say there's a coach, and he was allowed to have more of or most of the best players in the league on his team. He had bigger linemen than everybody else in the, on his team, and he had bigger backups than everybody else in, in the league on his team. And he's allowed to have the best players and the most money and pay everybody, but nobody else is allowed to pay these players. But he did. <laughs> he did somehow. And then all of a sudden, the other teams were allowed to pay the players and have the same size guys and end up with the same players. And then that coach quit. What would you say about that coach? I mean, is, is he a, is he, is he a great coach? Is he the greatest coach that's ever lived? Did, not, could he have done it at Vanderbilt? That's what I want yeah, to know. I mean, that, that's fair. So Nick Saban retires. I didn't even know they had, they've got a statue of this man already. Yeah. Did y'all know this? Yeah. Oh yeah. They had a, uh, they had a candlelight vigil. For the retirement of Nick, you Alabama fans, I'm about to I'm about to make a lot of you mad here, boys. It's a dude. It's just a dude. They had oatmeal pies and teas and all kinds of stuff sitting out there at his feet with a candlelight vigil. The, and, 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 and 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 to me, when you call these guys the greatest things that's ever done something, if they haven't done it, like say at like Vanderbilt or Duke or South Carolina or somewhere else. How can you be the – I just don't see how – I do not think Phil Jackson is the greatest coach ever. I think he's been – he's disqualified because he's had Michael Jordan, Scott, and, and Shaq, and, and Kobe. Kobe. He's got 11 championships. Terry, do you think he's been in Red Hourback? Mm, I, I would say not, but he's right there with me. But him. you got – I'm not saying you didn't got – you can't, you can't because, dismiss it. I mean, Red Hourback <laughs> has some – Bill Russell and all of them too. I what mean, about – well, okay, I know. What about who's done – who's <clears throat> what about Eric Spolster or Pat Riley? Or, 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 if I had or to Larry check, Brown. Chuck Daly, Larry Brown, yeah, yeah, the Miami Craig is good. Greg Popovich with 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 this with the centers, like like the th- that's the thing about me is he got is, back to the finals without LeBron, without Wade. I mean, you know, you start naming all that. He got back. If he had never got back, then you would have said, okay, they took him to where he should have been. But he's got back to a championship without them to high flying. Jim Harbaugh yeah, went at Fresno I mean, State, turn around and turn Stanford around. I got, I get you. Get, you can't. Get, you got to give that credit. But, but like to to to, to these, some of these guys for this stuff is just. Driving, I'm gonna read you. Yeah, I'm gonna read you this. Okay. Here are seven, sometimes non obvious drivers of Nick Saban's success as a head football coach. He he applies the standards he expects to himself first before anyone else. Now, remember, when I read this, another grown man wrote this about another grown man, okay? He sets standards, applies them to everyone, lowers them for no one, and teaches people how to exceed them. That's false because he <laughs> talks about loyalty you need out of the program when he's left in the middle of the night a few times. He understands the power of self-interest and how to capitalize on it in recruiting and developing players and staff. Yeah, he tells them right off the bat, you can come here and be a freshman, and I promise you by the time you become a junior, you'll be a starter. Now, Terry, I'm glad <laughs> you said that because I, I responded to this guy and be like, you didn't mention that he has the best talent in America. He responded to me. I'm going to show you what he said. He, re, he explicitly mentioned number three, Terry, and how he convinces he, – he, I'll show you in a second. Let me read the rest of it. He lives and operates with personal discipline as high or higher than everyone he leads, Tom. Uh, really? No, I agree dun, with that. Dun, I agree dun, dun. with that. Personal higher, higher stat, Terry. He, what do you have Miami work out? Well, I'm, I'm just saying though. When he, circumstances his... demand he just to compete and win, he does it faster and better than anyone else. Yeah. 
Miami. When it? I think of college football coaches, and this is just me from the years that I've watched and everything, Saban's in my top three. That's me. Now, that's my opinion. So he could adjust well, but then he complains about the other team huddling up. Terry, how many national championships would he have won at NC State? Uh, probably in one. If he had been there for 15, one. You're, you're stupid. You <laughs> saying that. One. Uh, a lot of people would have come there. <laughs> when he left <clears throat> Miami, if he had went to NC State and been here this whole time. We would have won you, one. You would not have. <laughs> you know it. That's my point. How could you be called the greatest if you couldn't have done it at any other, if it, at Florida State? See, that, that's when we think of the championship that I think, <coughs> and this is how I put teams in college, you're on different tiers. When you think of Alabama, you think of Georgia, you think of Clemson, when their backups are as good as their starter. Washington did not have backups <clears throat> that were as good as their starters. Right, and that was bad. So and that's, that's bad the difference. Game. Yeah. I mean, that's how come Michigan won. That's how come Michigan so, pretty much dominated so our, the game. So Terry, I responded, didn't, didn't list it. Had more talent than everyone, would have won seven titles at Vanderbilt. Well, this guy responded back. Number three, nice try, talking about the one that you talked about, well, about the uh, the backups and stuff. And he says, next time you take a shot, take your, take, check your target first. He's talked maybe his greatest skill set. This is, was his ability to get talent to sit behind other talent he did and sit that. behind other talent that was in their best interest and help them believe it. That's what that, he it, did that do is that. his genius. He that did. That is his, his genius in <clears throat> getting the kids to come and getting the kids to stay. That's his genius. Not when you say, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. I mean, no, he wait, told the other players. Team but, but, wait a minute, but wait a minute. <laughs> now, so let's break that down. So, uh, first of all, he said that's his greatest skill set. Well, that doesn't make you a good football coach. Correct. Okay, right. thank you. He's a good right, As long as that's correct. As long as we understand that. Right. Secondly, in the past... Once he got a kid commit, they couldn't leave. That's that's what I was yeah, fixing to bring up. Right. Now that he's got this portal, yeah. that, that's how come he's out. Now, I, I agree. Uh, okay, a hundred percent. Now that the kids could leave, and he doesn't have backups to his all stars, which means oh, we're not going to win this year. He's out. It's starting to get more level playing field. He went to the Miami. He failed. It was level playing field. He is one of these guys that would not succeed if he didn't have a level playing field, an, an unlevel playing field. These are the guys that are frauds to me. If you do not have, uh, go somewhere, win at North Carolina, win at NC State, win at Mississippi State, win somewhere else that doesn't have the top five names on it, doesn't have Ohio and, State And I on. think he really found out this year because his offense was not dominant. Terry, I mean, he struggled on offense. Explain to all me how the greatest long. coach of all time caught a quarterback sneak from the four yard line on the last <clears throat> yeah, play of his that career. That was the dumbest thing think I've of, ever saw. Think of, I'm sorry. Is that not right? It if was. You've been coaching for 50 years and you've drawn all these plays up in the sand. And the one th That's the top, best one you got. You got one play You coach, knew that was retired. not going to work. You knew that what was you, not going to work. And you don't call a slant. Yeah, give the kid the you option to throw. Or that's the last play of his career. That's almost like Krzyzewski getting beat by a dude. No, it ain't. It's like Dallas's last play against San Francisco last year. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to work. Is. <laughs> He's He's standing there. Standing there. That's what's going to happen. Now, there were people that were people that said, watch the film. That's not where the play was supposed to go. He was supposed to bounce no. it outside and follow the tackle. Correct. But either way, my point is yeah. the greatest thing of all time. If I'm sitting on the couch, if I'm told that this is the greatest thing of all time, and the play that they drew up was, a Cam, was a Cam Newton play. Yeah, that was a Cam yeah. Newton play. It wasn't anything else. That wasn't like, let's draw up the, the greatest pass route I've ever drawn up. They didn't do that. A good coach who drew up a good pass route. Would he have not, Terry? Yeah. I've got five oh, wide yeah. receivers. Somebody's getting open, and I'm, he couldn't do it. I'm not sure he was confident in his quarterback to make the throw. Don't, I don't want to see it Because yet. he only oh, had 100. Oh, this ought to be fun. He only had well, 100, we'll 100, 100 yards passing in that game. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think he had confidence. quarterback can't make a throw from the five-yard line, why is he the quarterback? Exactly. <laughs> why exactly. are you considered a great coach? When, when the play no. happened... And I saw it the next day. I was like, because, I mean, I'm telling you, I did not watch any of that. I did not watch any of the championship. I got up the next day and looked at replays. Because, that's, I mean, I did not want to watch it because I'm a Florida State fan yeah. from the ACC. And I told y'all I wasn't we really know what We really know what they did. You know who but else now, they blamed it on? They blamed it on the center because he struggled. But here's my thing. You're Nick Saban. Can't teach a guy how to snap. 
<laughs> yeah, well, that was uh, Again, the play. That you got was three people behind him, just as good. I make ten million dollars a year, but I can't Again, get the greatest coach ever. Okay. Step one snap. Did y'all see? Have y'all seen this mess? <clears throat> Will Rogers transferred to Mississippi. Stood in the national championship game, threw passes on the sideline wearing Washington gear, Tom. His coach leaves. Now he's back in the portal. This okay. is his career at Washington. He actually came to the ball, threw on the sidelines in a Washington jersey. Now he's leaving. He never did anything with Washington but come there to the ball game. So he transferred from where? <clears throat> from Mississippi State or one of those okay. one of these schools. So as soon as DeBoer left, he's back in the portal. Now he's back in the portal. Can you do that? Uh, yeah, well, yeah, he yeah. can. But I, is this not hilarious? Because the coach left. Yeah, yeah. Well, he can oh. end up being is down there with him. He's about, but he, he, he actually threw passes on the sideline in Washington gear. <laughs> oh my so that's what I'm saying. This transfer porter is so. <coughs> they've got. It's going mean, to be a wreck. There's no way that I can sit here and tell you what's going through a young man's mind and his parents' mind and of what he's going to do and when he's going to do it and where he's going to go. Well, I mean, there's no. When you way. see these uh, uh, these uh, uh, recruiting classes, and you're like, okay. <clears throat> They got the number one guy. He won't be there next year. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's yeah. no worse than Kevin bringing up that video we had a couple of weeks ago when the, the dad was back there and he put on another hat and the dad was like, "No, we talked about this all the time. <laughs> You're going to Alabama, <laughs> you know." I mean, keep going there next year, Dad. Just calm yeah. down. <laughs> You're watching. Yeah, I can finish. Now you're watching Nick Saban's police escort. Oh Tom, man, look at leaving that. the office. How about that? He needed a police escort to leave the office. Guys, I'm leaving. Somebody call the police. Let's, 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 let's but now let me tell up. you this. Here's the worst thing. Hey, what are all these people out here doing video on it? There goes some cars. <laughs> there goes Nick Saban. Grown men cried. Good riddance. Grown men have cried. It's just them. funny how these guys always do the same thing. When it doesn't suit me anymore, I'm gone. But they demand this 100% loyalty to me. I mean, this hero worship in this country is just it, is it, it You're 100% right. I'm stupid. But... Uh, it, isn't it? Every kid growing up has a hero, Tom. In the last ten, but it shouldn't be Terry, Nick Saban. Terry, in the last, I'm just telling you. Terry, in the every last, kid it has should be a Jim Harbaugh, right, Tom? Not Jim Harbaugh, not the cheater. In the last what four weeks, eight weeks, ten weeks, has this coach DeBoer, whatever his name is, not blew so much smoke up all those Washington's fans oh, and God, players? Yes. But you know what? I recant my earlier statement. Mm. <laughs> I retract that statement. I mean. Well, I'm gonna tell you when I was how growing much up, did he blow how, smoke right? How, how yeah. much, I mean, seriously, how much? How many times did he mention tradition? How many times did he mention it to those players and everyone else in there? We're gonna build something. Well, guys, Alabama offered me a million dollars. I'm gone. The only thing he taught him was yeah. take the more money. It doesn't matter what the situation. And unless he and think about it, unless he does, think about it, he he's got to know he's on a he's a missionary right right here or he, he does, not the missionary the. Uh, Oh, mercenary, not missionary. <laughs> he's basically a mercenary. If he don't get 10, 11, 12 wins a year, he's out. Following Saban, he's got two years, right? Three years. How many years has he got, to, realistically? I, he's on the hot seat as soon as he walked in that office. Mm -hmm. But he's, he benefits from that playoff portal now, or the playoff, port, the playoff uh, style now, though, with that 12 Here's his former quarterback teams. in Washington. <laughs> <laughs> Will Rogers. So he was supposed to be the next guy, right? Well, will he be at Alabama next year? <laughs> they had, they had, they haven't announced that yet. Well, you know there are, and it's over speculation too. Every, you know, so, some players are leaving. Oh, they're going here, they're going there. You know, there's all kinds of clickbait out there now, but it, it's it's really a soap opera, man. It's like the kid from Mississippi going to Ohio State. You know, it's like, oh, it is. it's like, look, man, it's like. They're going to have it's to put a little be. bit. I'm glad the kids have an ability to choose, but they're going to have to put some parameters on it. It needs to be 50 50 with the organization Michigan and the kids. only had five turnovers all season. Hmm. Four of them are against Bowling Green. Wow. Wow. 45 penalties all season, Tom. You believe that one? Well, when you know what plays are coming from the other team, it's, it's, hey, it's, the, it's, the, it's, the, the 007 glasses work really well. <laughs> the, 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 the analogy I give. You know, they're, they're saying the, the, to defend him. They said, well, it wouldn't have mattered. It's like, okay, say I'm the smartest kid in the school and I'm trying to become the valedictorian. So the teacher leaves answers on the desk. So I, I steal all the answers. Uh, I look at them. Well, I knew these already. I'm good. Do you not still gain an advantage? Now I can focus on something else. Now I'm not worried about this anymore. I can go focus something on something else. That's what it is because the, the he would have won it anyway argument 
is bullcrap. You mm -hmm. gain an advantage, and that allows you to work on something else. I mean, why, why don't people understand the simple concept of like an opportunity cost? You reduce your opportunity cost. I don't have to do this. Now I can do something else. Mm -hmm. Very, very simple. And people still, it's like if you rat on the cheater, you're the bad guy. Yep. Yep. yep I mean, yep. it's it's kind of funny, you know. I, you know, it, it's just it, it blows my mind people's standards for coaches' conduct. You know, it goes back to this hero worship. Oh, he's the great. So, and, he, he's a great coach, but he's a cheater. But and, and it's, it's like saw that. the news on Florida State, didn't you? This week, yeah, no. the NIL charges. The NCAA is going to try to punish <clears throat> Florida State for NIL chart NIL um, infractions. I said, yeah, you can pay them whatever you want, but Florida State can't. You can go yeah. thirteen and zero. But Florida State can't. You can see, you can sit you, there and still sign yeah. for the other team with video. Yeah, but Florida State yeah. can't. Why? Why? Yeah. Why are they going after Florida State and not I, Texas A and M? You can't because when you challenge someone in power vocally, mm -hmm. they bring the hammer down. Yep. Fair. No matter yeah. what you are and what you do, you cannot challenge power. They can be dumb as a brick. You know it. They know it. We all know it. And they bring the hammer down. Barstool ECU in August. You got to said you got to feel bad for these Michigan fans. They got national championship aspirations, and it's going to end Saturday at four o'clock. Or East Carolina. East Carolina did not work out. Barstool Appalachian fans respond. One of these teams played for national championship. The other went two and ten and lost to UNC Concord Mills. <laughs> My new favorite name for the 49ers, yep. Tom. UNC Concord Mills. <laughs> UNC Concord, Concord Mills is about. I remember it. That is funny. Terry. That's good. That I like funny. that. I like that. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Uh, Appalachian got an engineering school. <laughs> you, UNC. I don't care who you are, Tom. UNC Bass Pro Shop. Yeah, that is funny. <laughs> that, place, that, that place, really, have you been what? in it lately? No. It's it's a. I remember when they were building it in the mid 90s. Uh, this is hilarious. Uh, this is a local <laughs> Michigan station. <laughs> you, tell, you remember that one? Uh, that is Do fun. I need to hit uh, computer on this, Kevin? In just a second, yeah. Uh,. All right, this is a local Michigan station trying to describe what happened to the national championship. And I just, I, I just, you know, if I had money, I'd hire this guy. Well, it all comes down to this. The Michigan football team back in the national championship game with dreams of winning it all for the first time since 1997. Now, due to certain broadcast restrictions, we are not allowed to show any highlights from the game because the broadcast is still going on right now. However, since you're here with us, please... Enjoy my version of the highlights from the action tonight. So, let's go to beautiful NRG Stadium for this matchup between the top-ranked Wolverines and the number two-ranked Huskies. Great work on the field there by the grounds crew today. And the first quarter was a big one for Michigan. Donovan Edwards came into tonight with just one TD, busted out a 41-yard score to give the Wolverines the first points of the game. And he Smokes wasn't done. Still in the first. The defense just had no pitches. answer for Edwards, who <laughs> scored again this time from 46 yards out. But Washington <laughs> would get on the board in the final moments of the second quarter, and it would be 17-10 at the half. Then, on the first play of the third quarter, Michael Penix Jr. throws to the sideline, and he is picked off by Will Johnson. Check out head coach Jim Harbaugh yeah. with a big <laughs> smile on his face as the Wolverines get another turnover on defense. <laughs> And uh, the teams would trade field goals, but then in the fourth, Blake Corum scores two touchdowns. Take a look at uh, J.J. McCarthy right there pointing to where the ring is going to go. <laughs> and that game is final. Michigan wins 34-13. Head coach Jim Harbaugh right there holding up the trophy as he finally brings home a national championship to his alma mater. Tell me that guy does not deserve a sideline reporter job <laughs> more than 99% of the ones I'm out there. Is that not awesome? He's not, he's not he deserves yeah. a he deserves a yeah. raise. He, he's not pretty enough to be a sideline. Was that Mr. Anderson off of this he was is, a butthead? Yeah. This is kind of this is on the sideline. Uh, popped up with Michigan and stuff talking about um at some you know you want to talk talk about where money goes in an institution. Uh, the DEI institution at Michigan um, has two hundred forty one paid employees under a total of thirty million dollars, averaging one hundred and twenty five thousand dollars mm. per employee. That could pay for the tuition of seventeen hundred undergraduate students, but instead, that's just in in one department alone, 
making sure that you don't hire too many white people, Tom. <laughs> Tom, can I ask you something? Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, my question for Tom is this. Now that it's over and Michigan has won, what are your final thoughts for Michigan being national championship? To me, they're not the national champion. They cheated. I'm done with it. What? Why? What's? There, what else is there to say? I've, I've, I've said it. Well, I've said it all season. Why? <laughs> if you're going to investigate Florida State, Terry, you're going to investigate Florida State for NIL, but you're not going to investigate this cat for cheating. It's the Big Ten that's suspended, if not the NCAA. But hadn't Ohio State did the same thing in this whole scenario in their past? When when has Ohio State been accused of, accused of a cheating scandal and won a national championship? I'm just I'm just asking. They're I mean, not. You know? That's not. I mean, the, the year they got accused of cheating, they vacated the win against Arkansas. That's why they only have two wins against SEC instead of three. They made them vacate that one. And the next year they were twelve and zero. Terry, they were twelve and zero. Did they get to go to the playoff? No. Y'all cheated last year. Sorry, no playoff. And that was in the scholarship era, too, where you couldn't pay people to come there. You know what I mean? You couldn't get all these transfers. So I'm just saying that I guess that's what makes me bitter, Terry. That's what makes me bitter. That, that Ohio State's 12-0 year, they didn't get to go to the playoff because they cheated. But this cat gets to go and win the national championship. Oh, this is glorious. And all his BS. So I'm just saying that there's a double standard. Florida State investigated for NIL. But this guy gets to get, gets the championship. Whatever. Alabama That's official whatever. says, look, everyone, and I mean everyone, is stealing signs. Michigan's not the only school doing this. Kansas <laughs> cheats more than anyone in basketball. And they didn't and they didn't do yeah. anything to Kansas. The only pure thing in college athletics is Vanderbilt, and Vanderbilt <laughs> sucks. That's an Alabama <laughs> official. Uh yeah. so he says, if you're not cheating, you're not trying, if or you're Vanderbilt. And and so Whatever. That's from an Alabama official. Are they owner. dressing up coaches in, in the gear of the of, of, of a coach that they're not part of and and standing on the sideline? Too bad the guy didn't I mean, uh, draw him uh, for his uh, half. They did. Uh, I, but but his, the, the thing is, the thing is, they do steal signs. That's correct. They do. <clears throat> but but there's a difference between looking over there and having a guy saying, "Well, when they hold up this signs, what are they doing?" And you're trying to figure it out. Where you got a guy recording with a set of glasses on, dressed up as a coach. Of a of a team he's not part of the staff. Coaching their signs aren't creative and creative enough you can figure That's out what thing. they're throwing. That's, That's right. one thing That's, yeah. versus putting, you know, banging trash cans or putting right. electronic devices on you yeah. to let you know. That's that's taking it too far. Correct. If if you're yeah. using your intellect just in the midst of the game, that's one thing. The yeah. billboards well, back up in Monroe, boys. The billboards back up in Monroe. Tide rolled, ULM 21, Alabama 14. That was a long time ago, wasn't it? Yep, Nick Saban lost to Louisiana that, Monroe that, that's when he came in his out. first season. Then he, I think that's the game he lost, and he came out and said, this is our 9-11, and then he took a bunch of heat for uh -huh. like, you lost the game, and you're comparing yeah, it to 9-11s. Yeah. He so, took a bunch of heat. So, Tom, yeah. some, do you, uh, in general, do you like Nick Saban? No. In general, know. do you like Pete Carroll? No. Terry? Pete Carroll? Either one of them? I, I don't like Pete for what he did in college. I do understand he's a great coach. I'm I mean, not he, not, he can take like whoever him. he's got and make them better. Uh, would he be in my top ten? Probably would. But as far as how he got there, I don't. Again, I don't like what he did to USC. Here's he a, did what he had, then he run off. This is yeah. the way these here's, coaches okay. operate. Well, here, here, here's where I was going with this. Here's a head. Here's a news clipping from 1980. Nick Saban, an assistant at West Virginia, has been picked by Ohio State head coach Earl Bruce to become the defensive secondary coach on the Buckeyes. <laughs> Saban will replace Pete Carroll, who left Ohio State after the Rose Bowl game to become defensive coordinator at North Carolina State. Wow. So you both, you both are involved in this. You both got dirty <laughs> hands. In this, Saban and Carroll, both Ohio State Buckeyes, one's a NC State Wolfpack who worked for Monty Kiffin. Sa Sa Saban was also y'all been caught. Saban was also the DC for uh, Cleveland Browns. Yeah, I got a picture of that under Belichick. Mm -hmm. You mean like this? <laughs> yep. Old Belichick. Look who they're beating there, nineteen to fourteen with ten seconds in the game. <laughs> no, that's the problem. We probably won that game in the last ten seconds. <laughs> 
And that, hey, that's that wasn't no weak Cowboys uh, <laughs> franchise right then either. Well, what that, would it have been the nine I, year? That, that might have been Babe Lothenberg quarterback of that team. <laughs> they had some pretty bad ones there at some point. Uh, here we go. Um, Wisconsin will be Alabama's first Power Five team they played against without Nick Saban since the Oklahoma State Cowboys in the 2006 Independence Bowl, coached by Mike Gundy. In 2024, Oklahoma State is coached by Mike Gundy. Hmm. So Wisconsin will get uh, Mike Gundy will be the first and last coach to coach against Alabama without Mike Nick, Gundy's Nick Saban. Been there a long time. I tell he you has. what, I, I I I kind of respect Mike Gundy because he's he is an Oklahoma State Cowboy. Mm-hmm. He stayed there. He's never tried to get. And you know people would want him. Mm-hmm. He's never tried to go anywhere else. And his own son transferred out. <laughs> Oklahoma State. <laughs> that would happen between me and my dad. It's just, here, here's it's just like he would not let me play. Here's some comments. <laughs> here's some comments on the Washington board. Pay the board twelve million right now. Pay him fifteen million. I don't care. Someone call Bill Gates. Those kids don't need malaria that bad. <laughs> Especially since those kids in the third world just got our UW championship shirts. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> oh, college football cans are bad. Bad. Bad people. I think sometimes. <laughs> Ah uh, well, I mean, it's just like I just, I just feel bad. I thought man, this is the Boer guy. He might be old school. He might be like Gundy, but nah. I mean, he's got who's the guy that left in the middle of the night to go to USC? Huh? Riley. Yeah, yeah. Same, same right. thing. With they're, those, they're with, with the retirement of Saban and to some of these other folks, Mac Brown is now college football's most active winning co- is coach. Okay. Speaking of people who need to retire. <laughs> now, nah. trivia, I trivia. I was waiting any day now, really. Trivia question. Who is the NCAA's most career losses in coaching? Spent the majority of his career at Alabama, Birmingham, and Tennessee Tech. Does anyone know who has the most career losses in college football? 211. The rec- his record was 136 and 211 and 1. And he's still coaching. <clears throat> no. Okay. I don't think so. He might be coaching high school. I'm, I'm, well, I saw this note. I'm 99% sure he's not coaching. Uh, you want to know the answer? We yes. have no idea. I have no idea. You ever heard of Watson Brown? No, we haven't. That's Mac's older brother. Wow. <laughs> Mac Brown's older brother has the most football losses in NCAA history. So that family has two records right now. <laughs> Nobody loses by, it's the, almost Mac, like, by, by the, Brent, like the Brown family. It'd be like the, twi- uh, the movie Twins. You got Danny DeVito and you, <laughs> and you got Arnold Schwarzenegger. But, but. <laughs> <laughs> one's a loser and one's a winner. <laughs> which, one, which one's which, though? <laughs> Sure Mac, Max the winner, there's he's your, Arnold, and there's your Mac Brown. Your brother's a loser, he's Danny. So one more Carolina <laughs> stat. This is now this is Carolina <laughs> NC State basketball quick war. No, oh. We're not getting on it. Carolina has won more <laughs> games at the Final Four in the past twenty years than NC State has over North Carolina. Probably have. Wow. Probably and they, have. They play twice a year. Yeah. All right, my final uh, college football <clears throat> note of the day. This is a map. This is called, let's see if Tom can get this. I, I, I'm trying to wrap. It was tough for me to wrap my brain around it. This is the imperialism map, okay? Meaning, if you beat a team, you you get. If you're the last team to beat a team, so Michigan beat Washington, they get they get all the territory that Washington's beat, and all the teams that they've beat. You understand what I mean? So you're quiet. It's like the game of risk. Mm-hmm. It's basically a game of risk. This is the national championship map, game of risk. Do, 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 do. Make this a little smaller. And what's fun about this is App State has conquered territory in this. So here's your here's your map. You can kind of glisten what's going on uh, with it. But if you've beat one of these teams, and so Kansas State, Terry, you could have had you guys could have had North Dakota and South Dakota if y'all had won that bowl game. You could have claimed it. You could have claimed New Mexico. App State's got Arizona. How about a- ASU, Tom, has more territory in, at ASU. We've all, we own ASU now. Please send us the, uh, the, the postcards and letters from Arizona State. You can call us ASU now. We've taken over your territory. We've got territory in Louisiana. 
Of course, we got Boone. We got territory in Tennessee too. Some up in Ohio. Ooh, what, 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 where's that area of Ohio? Tom? Where's that they West probably Virginia? Beat, uh, no, that's Ohio. Is that they Youngstown? Go, no, Youngstown's the other side of the state. Up there. Now, they do have the side of Pennsylvania. Is they got some in Pennsylvania? Yeah. We didn't yeah. beat Toledo, did we? I don't know. So Duke's got some territory. App's got territory. Kansas State, Arizona, Georgia. He's got a little territory. Boston College. He's got more than Chestnut Hill. Michigan owns Chestnut Hill, though, it looks like. The Jackrabbits on the northeast. This might be the it's cool. dumbest map I've ever seen. It's a weird little map. It is. It's cool. It's like if you were playing Risk, who would own what parts of the United States, what counties. But App's got a lot of them. So. App would have Hawaii. We do? <laughs> ha! Ha! We got the best vacation. All right, that's it. Any other news and notes on college football, guys? <laughs> <It's> just... <clears throat> Not on college. Did right? I miss anything else? No. Uh, one one. Uh, question you think uh app state make the playoff uh and, and potentially anytime yes i got who's winning the conference mm-hmm. now where they get screwed is we, um is arguing over which conference is, is better because yeah. that's like, like on like, the votes like florida state just got well so so th- right so they're only going to allow one group of five team in but so, with their with their pedigree they might have the the alabama pedigree would, on that that side i would I hope yeah. But, like, you never know, like, you get somebody like Tulane or, or, or one of these teams that's got a big city voting base or fan base with these, with these voters and stuff, and they, you just never – half the voters pronounce Appalachian, Appalachian. So what are we going to do? <laughs> what are we going to do? All right, we'll be back in a minute. KDCBroadcasting.com. Is your car or truck ready for the cold winter weather? Make sure by taking it to Oak Grove Auto Sales, Service, and Body Shop on the Oak Grove Road. Have the 